my first impression of this place was that it was a simulation. Like everything felt so unreal. Like it felt like it was a big social experiment. The first thought that just crossed my mind when I stepped on campus was like, wow, this looks much more grand than I pictured. But then within minutes, I just shifted into the people and the people are much more impressive than the place. People are very laid back. Um, and they're not exclusive. They are very open to other cultures and people from other countries. My freshman year, coming to campus, by the way, like, uh, give me the, yani, yani, like, I can be culture shock, come on. I think NOE Abu Dhabi is like Hogwarts. In a way, it's you bring the entire world into one space and you try to figure out how to live with differences. You can speak to people and they will always have an interesting take on what you have to say. Now, it won't exactly be what you want to hear. It won't exactly be what um, you believe yourself, perhaps. But there are so many really intelligent and very kind people. You get that sense of empathy, that sense of engagement within the student body, with the staff, with the faculty. And it's a very kind of self-enriching place uh, that everybody feeds off each other. I think I would describe NYUAD as this radical place and shift towards education where I think there's a deep love of the world and other people. NYUAD has been an incubator of wild ideas and bold entrepreneurs. You have the chance to, you know, study alongside some of the brightest people, you know, from one of the most diverse backgrounds at any university. I think finding a community in NYU Abu Dhabi is one of the most important parts of it. I allowed myself to like assimilate within the Emirati community or the Arab community, the Muslim community, and that made it a lot easier for me to feel like NYU AD can be part of my home. And now it is, because like, it's a home away from home. My mother told me this is actually the first university I've ever talked to her about that I wanted to go to. I watched so many graduation tribute videos just to see the experience of the students and then how they transform over four years. And then I was just like, you know what? This is it, like this is the school that I wanna go to. Usually I try to use rationality to make decisions, but for this one, I think the decision actually came to my heart first before my rationality. So my heart already knows that probably you're going to go to this place. I don't know, I cannot explain, but it's a, it's a weird feeling. If I had to choose something that I love the most about NYUD from the start, sports. It's like the sports community. Whatever my coaches taught me these four years, it's gonna stay with me and I'll carry that after university. I love the integration that we have within the community. I love that we are able to go into the city and, and do things that are not related to campus. I love the Campus Cats. Um, we're graduating, but they're never going to graduate. They're like a, a constant force within our university. Studying at a liberal arts uh, uh, university is like a buffet. You get uh, some of everything, uh, while also uh, taking a lot of classes from your major. I think a liberal arts education allows you to move beyond just your major. For me, that meant coming into university with a passion for engineering and then getting to discover a new passion in finance, for example. I want to study everything, and this has been an issue with me since I was a kid. Whenever I had the option to do this or this, I was like, why not both? And that's exactly the thing I got to do here. So when I heard about NYU Abu Dhabi and being able to do an engineering degree, but also take classes in like politics and like arts, it just felt like the place that I had been looking for forever. Education is a basic right for a lot of people. It's a privilege for a lot of people. And for me, it was an opportunity. It was a really hard, difficult opportunity that at one time in my life, I was like, I don't know if I'm gonna get that. We should be more mindful and appreciative of what we receive. And I think when we get there, it's, it's um, yeah, it's very emotional. Me being here in the first place, like taking that big leap of faith, is something that I think I will apply in general to my future. Fear really is very constricting. Like it's not only like does it stop you from trying out new things, but it also stops you from thinking that you can try out new things. I know nobody wants to hear about the pandemic anymore, but it's essential to bring it up because we have done a lot of uh, months of online classes. We have dealt with Zoom fatigue, being away from our friends. We've shown great ability to push through despite many 
inconveniences and, and, and really terrible things happening around the world. We had two years taken away from us because of COVID-19 and these four years still looked so amazing. I feel like these four years have not been enough, but I also don't know if it would have ever been enough. So I'm really sad about like saying bye to people. I think that's going to be the hardest. Senior year is really the time when you know you're about to leave and everyone's moving on to the next path of their lives and you want to cherish the last memories and time together with your friends. Just as anywhere else, the people make the place and uh, the people here definitely made my time more special than I could even ever have imagined. The friendship that you created over here is very phenomenal. It's not the same as um, the friendships that I create back home. One thing I really like about the community that we have is that everybody just tries to like uplift each other. I never feel embarrassed or shy to ask anyone and for like help or like any kind of like support regarding anything. The people I met here cradled me in a way, you know what I mean? They really did nourish and nurture me in a way that, like family. I'm going to miss a place where whatever you want to learn, there is space to learn that. Um, I think NY Abu Dhabi creates this environment where everything is at your hands or at your disposal. And I think that's hard to come by. The thing that I'm gonna miss the most would be the food. I think I'm gonna miss the most living all together in a very close proximity. You know, it's these little sort of quirky adventures where you get lost on the bus, or you don't really understand what's going on, or you don't know who to talk to in the shop, that, that you know, really stay in your mind and in your memory. I'm also gonna miss the, the staff, the dining hall, people, their smiles as they take away our meal swipes, <laughs> or the public safety officers uh, checking up on you. I'm also going to miss the High Line, honestly. That's one of my favorite things at NYUAD. I'm going to miss that. One voice is that I'm excited to graduate. I'm ready for the next journey. And of course, the other side is like, I don't want to leave. I haven't gotten like un in uninterrupted sleep for like the past four years. So that's something I'm looking forward to. After graduation, I hope to have peace of mind. No, okay, <clears throat> again. After graduation, I would be joining Bain & Company at their Tokyo office. My plans after graduation is to pursue a career in sports management and uh, work in the field of uh, women's football development. I'm taking a gap year and I'm pursuing an MD-PhD program after. I'm planning to return back to Europe and work with my community with Ukrainian refugees and internally displaced before heading out to Beijing where I'm going to be a Schwarzman scholar and studying global affairs. I'll be working as an investment banking analyst at Lazard in London. I'll be moving to Dubai to work in a fintech startup. I will go back to my home country to continue my studies as a Schwarzman scholar. I'm going to London to work as a software engineer at Palantir Technologies. I plan to study dentistry at UC San Francisco. Big shout out to my family, my friends both here and at home, and to the wonderful professors and mentors that I've gained at NYUAD. I'd like to thank His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Zayed Al Nahyan for his dedication to his people. I'd love to give a shout out to John Sexton. To my trio, to my coaches, and to the whole athletics department. To all the seniors and the alumni that have served as mentors to the class of 2022. Shout out to my family and my friends at NYU Abu Dhabi and my dog love. A huge shout out to the REACH team who are always there to support our student body with their mental health needs. Carolyn Eliazia from the community outreach team and Anir Burn from ADNH. Dan al Hassani in student affairs for being one of the most amazing people I've ever worked with. Shout out to all my professors, friends, and my family. Thank you so much for all the support you've given me throughout my journey. Class of 2022, congratulations. I can't believe we actually made it. Mabruk, we did it. And quando sa la chu? Aap sabko bahut bahut mubarak ho. Sotsugyo, omedeto. Graduate boy ko ma, tere tere badai sa. Ni fogo class of 2022. Gratulatie, we did it. Tebriklar. Ayiko, we did it. Enhorabuena, class of 2022. Felicidades, lo hicimos. Salamat, caliente la luz. Alpha Brook! <laughs>